Hey guys, welcome to another study vlog. In today's video, I take you through a week in my life preparing for midterms. There's a lot of studying, a lot of note taking, and I share my go-to strategies to help prepare for exams. This week wasn't too bad since I was preparing for my elective courses exam, so you'll get to see how I really manage my time leading up to exam day. Before we get into this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's start studying. So I only have one exam this week and it's for my elective course. For context, I'm taking a total of four courses this semester. Two are coding classes while the other two are electives. But while I was preparing for this week's exam, I was also preparing for my last midterm on Wednesday of next week. I had already taken my Java midterm the week prior and that was a hot mess. I really couldn't film it, but it gave me a sense of how my C-sharp midterm would go. My professor had us write out code from scratch, so memorizing syntax was a huge factor in passing this exam. I used a total of three different study techniques to help prepare for my midterms. The first was distributed practice, the other was active recall, and the third was Feynman technique. I'll get into what exactly these techniques entail later on in the video and how they help me feel confident in taking my exams. The first technique I used is called distributed practice. This is a method of spreading out your study reviews or sessions over a few days. Because we were still learning new information leading up to exam day, I had to make sure I understood what was being taught as well as what I learned the weeks prior. Ideally, this is my go-to study method when preparing for exams because I gradually retain the information I've learned over the course of a week or two rather than cramming the night before an exam. Side story that's kind of random but like not really. I made plans to stay on campus for about 4-5 to five hours, but it was cut short because I packed the wrong laptop. I needed my Windows laptop in order to run the software for C Sharp, which was the whole reason I was on campus in the first place, so I had to pack up and drive all the way back home, quickly pack my laptop so I can get back on the road to school. Anyway, I was on campus for about 4 hours and then I left. I've said this in my videos before, but go to your professor's open help sessions. It's literally a game changer. I completed two lab assignments and I got a better understanding of how the test would be administered and what I should study up on.
in the vehicle. Stop! How do I get it out? I don't want to touch it. drink heading home and then just completing some more assignments This next study technique is called active recall. This is when you take a topic and call to memory everything you remember about it. And by using the testing method, I like to make a practice quiz and test myself without looking at my notes or lecture slides. For example, I decide on a unit to quiz myself on and write down everything I can remember about what was taught in that unit. Then I look at my lecture slides and add any additional information in another color ink. I was also multitasking in the study session by quizzing myself on the listening portion of the test. My professor told us we had to be able to identify different songs from the medieval, renaissance, and baroque time periods. So I'm just playing music out loud from my midterm playlist and calling out the title and the composer of the song. Okay guys, it is currently 10, 10 exactly. I have an exam in about an hour, 20 minutes or so. I think I booked the room from 12 to two cause he put three different sections and I picked the one that was in the middle. So like early enough where I can get it out the way and then just come home and do what I need to do. And then late enough where I have enough time to study. So I need to go ahead, pack my bag. I have my iPad, I'm bringing my little, study sheets full of terms, definitions, and all that. I've been listening to my midterm playlist for this course on repeat for the last week or so. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. It's an elective course, so I don't really like need to retain this information, but this is definitely one of my favorite courses. Let's go ahead, pack up. You already know what's in my bag. I'm not gonna show that part, but yeah, I'll see you on campus. Um, that's non-sacred, so secular, and it was uh, usually stuff about like friendship and love and things like that. Dramatic musical performance. It's similar to the can cantata. It's not done with like large-scale performances, so like they don't have expensive costumes and sets and like the whole shebang because they think it's like religious and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Water music suite That last clip was another study method I used called the Feynman Technique. To make sure I understand what I studied, I try to explain it in plain and simple terms. It's based on the idea that if you can explain it to someone with little to no knowledge of the topic and they can follow along, then you most likely understood what you learned. So I had my sister call out different terms and I had to give her the definition of the word. Bonus points if I gave examples. But here, I'm just doing some more active recalling of the topics on the exam. And once it reached 12 o'clock, I was heading to the testing room. Okay, it is 2.49. I finished my test earlier, it only took me an hour and change. This was one of the easiest tests I've ever taken. He actually saw me 
and told me that I got over 100. So that's really good to hear. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my mom to come and get me. But I was literally so bored being in the building. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, okay. Today was a semi rest day. I gave myself a pretty big breakfast since I was happy with my exam grade and I was in a good mood in general. I was reading some more of this webtoon I've been reading called Get Schooled and then after I went straight into the flow of work. I usually don't feel myself studying outside of my room, but I'm in the kitchen right now and I'm just working on a discussion post for art appreciation that I waited till literally the last three hours before the deadline to do. It wasn't even a lot, so I ended up just pushing it till the last minute, but I'm doing it now and I sent it in on time. So yeah, that's it for this week's video guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm also going to start posting on Sundays now instead of Mondays just because it makes more sense to do so. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys next week for part two of this vlog.